you know, it was the time when you could <laughs> easily go on to YouTube and <laughs> rip stuff, which was exciting for me because once I learned how to do it, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is cool. I can actually just pull segments from videos that I responded to. I just knew that these were comedians I was interested in, and I knew that they were saying things that resonated with me, and it made sense. These women were using the stage as platform. There was this deliverance and this way of being able to tell a story and make people laugh and feel uncomfortable at the same time. And then I started thinking of the comedian as this orator or like godly person. But mom got broke and the women got coming on, didn't have no money, and I married another old man. <laughs> There's also messages within the humor. It's such a male-dominated field, and so when women are entering that platform, they seem to find a way to speak about their sexuality, their bodies, and their desires. I feel like they have helped me become an artist. <laughs> they have grounded me and given me that foundation to create and make the type of art that I'm making. So it's like all of these women represent, for me, a reminder of myself and that slight possibility of how things can change at any moment. Yeah.